Hi, I'm Tyler and welcome to the CS Gallery where my exhibition, The Chronic Diaries, is currently being shown or not shown uh, due to COVID-19. It's awesome to be here. The Chronic Diaries is a collection of images which is all about my journey with chronic illness over the last 27 years. It covers a range of topics including both physical and mental illness. All of the images in this exhibition are all about me and my journey and because they're self-portraits they all include me as both the photographer and the model. Some people may get a bit uncomfortable looking at them uh, and some people may find a lot of hope and positivity in them. Uh, really depends on the person. I get all sorts of reactions and different uh, different meanings that people put forward to me about them. Well how it started was back in 2014 uh, one of my favorite photographers Benjamin Von Wong came and surprised me, jumped out of a box on my front doorstep and took me on a eight-day photo adventure around Victoria and during that adventure he gave me the confidence and courage to finally step into this conceptual style of photography that I'd always wanted to get into but was always too afraid because I thought I wasn't good enough. And then about three weeks after that adventure I created the first image which is the image you can see right there which is bedside and then I just decided to turn it into a series to tell the story of my, of my journey with chronic illness. Conceptual for me is all about storytelling. So I like to tell stories through all of my images. A lot of my stories are very dark and very meaningful, but a lot of them also have a lot of hope in them. And I just love dabbling in the dark side of the photographic arts. So it begins with creating the concept, which can take any amount of time. Some of them, you know, come to my head within an instant, such as the series of three images with the ropes around my head, faceless anxiety and insanity. That just came to me that night and I just stepped in and did it straight away. Whereas there are other images like Ashes to Ashes, which I've been trying to find a, the right fireplace for two and a half years. There are four distinct colour palettes in this uh, exhibition, which are the black and white images, the cool blue tone images that are all taken outdoors, then there's the blue toned, cool toned uh, textured images, which have all been taken inside my home studio, as well as the black and white images, which were also taken inside my home studio. The Clouded Mind is actually an image that is all about a type of brain fog that I experience. This image involves me standing in a sort of hunched position with a cloud over my head, which is signifying brain fog. The background is very blue and cool toned and also has a lot of texture over it. Everyone gets brain fog, but the brain fog I get actually comes in three stages which stage one is your typical brain fog, losing concentration, losing your words. Then stage two, I lose my ability to speak altogether and I can't get a word out. And then stage three, which thankfully doesn't happen very often, is when my whole body just goes completely unresponsive. Boxed in is an image where you see me with my hands up around my knees, clutching them, and I am surrounded and trapped in a box, which was actually a big old style travel case that I found at an antique shop back in 2014. Bedside is an image in which you can see me laying in bed, seemingly in a lot of pain. And that's because in, on that day I was in a lot of pain, I was really, really unwell. I had the camera going off every 30 seconds, documenting that whole day. I think I documented about eight hours of that day of being stuck in bed. The image itself 
is all about how bed can be your, both your best friend and your worst enemy at the same time. Because it's so comfortable in bed. It's nice and warm and comfy and it can just be so good to be in bed. But then when you're chronically ill, you're stuck there. And even if you want to get out, there are times where you can't. Photography is very therapeutic for me. I couldn't live life without it, to be honest. It gave me a reason to push and push and push to get out of this trapped feeling that I was in. Like I was trapped mentally and physically at the same time. And it just pushed me to get out there and just live life. I hope that everyone comes out of this exhibition with a bit more of an understanding about chronic illness and how it can affect those who, who experience it. And I hope that those who do experience chronic illness can relate to it a lot and I hope that it can give them hope so that they can keep pushing through their illnesses and keep, keep the positivity up and just get out there in the world and not let their illnesses stop them from doing what they love.